Almost all of us would have heard about LSMW, the Legacy System Migration Workbench Tool. LSMW is the go-to solution for all the bulkier data migration from the legacy systems during the SAP ECC versions. But off late, SAP had come up with advanced tools like LTMC and LTMOM for data migration. In this video, we are going to understand about all these tools and how they are different from each other. I'm going to focus this video more from the interview perspective so that it can help you to answer any questions related to this in your interviews. Hey, this is Abhiram and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while I had posted a video as I was working on a huge content for the channel. But now I'm back with new videos. Before we proceed to the topic, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on the new videos. You can now also join the channel and become a super member to get access to the member exclusive content and contribute for more such engaging videos. Let's jump in. So as said, LSMW was a very successful data upload tool in SAP ECC versions and help the functional consultants to easily upload huge chunks of data without any ABAP knowledge needed in the most of the cases. It has predefined business objects like vendors, customers, etc. provided by SAP, which makes the data upload easier instead of dealing with the tables. The reusability of the conversion rules added to further ease in the using the tool. While this was the story during the times of SAP ECC version, with SAP S4 HANA, SAP had come up with a new tool for the data migration called LTMC, which replaces the LSMW and provides more benefits to users. LTMC stands for Landscape Transformation Migration Cockpit, and this is an enhanced version of LSMW. SAP recommends using LTMC instead of LSMW in S4 HANA due to its advanced capabilities. Similar to LSMW, LTMC is also an embedded tool that comes along with every S4 HANA system and can be used to migrate data from SAP or non-SAP systems to an S4 HANA system using either a file-based approach or via staging tables. LTMC is an automated migration cockpit which contains predefined templates provided by SAP with all the necessary mapping and the conversion rules for various business objects, a bit similar to that of what we used to get in LSMW. Functional users can use this tool to migrate master data objects from almost all modules like be it material, business partners, cost centers, GL accounts, anything. And no ABAP coding knowledge is required to use LTMC as that of what we used to get in LSMW. Now let us try to understand in detail the advantages of LTMC over LSMW. The major difference between LSMW and LTMC is the steps followed in the data transfer process or rather the data upload process. In LSMW, the user needs to record the screen to generate a template and do all the mapping and conversion so that the system can understand where and how to upload the data. But in LTMC, SAP had provided all the necessary mapping and conversion rules by default so that there is no effort needed by the users on this front. This reduces the time of the use and also improves the overall efficiency in the data upload process. So with all these steps in LSMW, it was not a friendly tool for the end users to use it directly. It required to have a considerable technical knowledge on the system so that they can do all this recording or the other mapping and the conversion steps. So ultimately, it needed to have a functional consultant's help or role in doing the data upload process. But whereas LTMC is a very user friendly tool, there is almost no learning curve and it can easily be used even by the end users to perform the data upload process because there is no need to do any recording or mapping or conversion. Everything you know comes by default uh, provided as a standard template by SAP. So the next difference between LSMW and LTMC is the availability of templates. LSMW had nothing like predefined or ready to use templates the user needs to create all the recording and which can be later on reused for the same recording again whereas LTMC comes up with something like predefined templates which contains all the mapping and the conversion rule sets which can readily be used by the users just they need to upload the data file which contains all the data that they wanted to upload and they can select this template and do the entire upload process seamlessly so these are the major differences between LSMW and LTMC and hence why LTMC is recommended tool for data migration by SAP in S4 HANA system. But 
Note that LSMW is still available and fully functional in S4 HANA, just that it is not a recommended tool to use by SAP, which we can understand that in future LSMW will not might not be available in the S4 HANA systems also. So now we understood what is LSMW, what is LTMC. Now what is LTMOM or what we call as LTMOM? LTMOM is also a data migration tool which was provided by SAP S4 HANA and it is an advanced version of LTMC. LTMOM stands for Landscape Transformation Migration Object Model. Now LTMC is best suited in a standard scenarios where there are no custom fields in the master data that we are trying to upload. But what if there are any custom fields or user enhanced fields in that particular master data object? Then we need to use LTMOM so that we can append these custom fields to the source and target data objects. But LTMOM or LTMOM requires ABAP knowledge to change the target system structure in SAP S4 HANA. So once the necessary changes are done to the structure, then the remaining process of data upload is done via the LTMC tool itself. So LTMOM is nothing but a predefined or a prerequisite steps that needed to be performed in the GUI of SAP to enhance or to customize these templates by adding all the custom fields and once it is done then it is a normal process of LTMC. So this is all about the conceptual understanding of LSMW, LTMC and LTMOM. In the next video we will see how to use the LTMC tool in detail and also shall upload data using it. See you in the next video and until then like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay safe.